before we step to the discussion, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. In this diagram, I would like to explain the last portion of the circuit. So let's get started. Just keep in mind when the switch turn on and off, then the signal frequency will be pulse wave modulation. Let's say the time on and off in one millisecond, then we have 50% duty cycle. So let me explain what is the duty cycle. The duty cycle is a waveform rising from minimum to maximum voltage. Then falling again from maximum to minimum with a positive and negative cycle. From this point to this point is the time on and let's say the time on in 2 milliseconds then from this point to this point is the off time in one millisecond, then we have a total period of time in three millisecond. Then the duty cycle formula will be equivalent to time on divided by the period of time times 100%. My next video, I will show you how to calculate this circuit. At this moment, let me explain how the DC DC back converter works. So let's close the switch within 2 milliseconds. Then the current flowing through the inductor with a positive and negative polarity respectively. Going to the right direction and charging the capacitor. Let's say the capacitor will be charging 10% within 2 milliseconds. At this point, the diode in the off state since the cathode side or the negative side connected to the positive side of the battery. Then no current flowing through the diode. All the current flowing through the inductor and charging the capacitor. Therefore, the magnetic field will be increasing and this magnetic field causing charging and keeping the current from the inductor within 2 milliseconds. Then let open the switch within 1 millisecond. Then the inductor begin to collapse within one millisecond and due to collapsing the current will be decreasing while the inductor collapsing at this point the inductor will be inducing voltage due to 
its own voltage or independent voltage, then the inductor will be creating the opposite polarity of the battery. Since the cathode side or negative side of the diode, same polarity with the inductor and connected together. Then the diode in the on state. Now we have a closed circuit path that the current can blowing through the entire circuit. Since the battery is not connected to the circuit, then let's remove the battery from the circuit. Now you can see the inductor acting like a battery to supply the entire circuit. Then, the inductor releasing the current and charging the capacitor. And this current flowing and charging the capacitor as long as the diode in the on state and allow the negative side of the inductor connected to the negative side of the capacitor and the magnetic field collapsing while the current absorbing by the capacitor within one millisecond since our previous charging from the inductor at two millisecond and now discharging in just one millisecond then we have remaining harp magnetic field harp current from the inductor Let's say the previous charging from the inductor is 10 percent within two milliseconds and now discharging within one millisecond. Therefore, we have five percent current remaining in the inductor and the five percent current from the inductor will be absorbing by the capacitor then the capacitor will be increasing the voltage charging by five percent now we can add the previous voltage of the capacitor to present voltage 5 plus 10 percent it will be 15 percent charging by the way the purpose of the diode during in the off state is to allow the negative side of the inductor connecting to the negative side of the capacitor since the diode in the on state to make sure that the capacitor 
will be charging during the switch is open simply because we have no ground from the battery since it is not connected therefore our negative from the negative side of the inductor then just keep repeating the switch to be closed and open until the capacitor is fully charged in the actual circuit using an IC like NE555 timer IC and transistor to create the timing pulse width modulation as a switch rather than the momentary switch as a name suggestion DC DC back converter it means the input DC will be converting into the lower output DC that is how the working principle of the DC back converter so thanks for watching my video tutorial